Now I'll take out the brown yarn. Let's start making the feet. First, to wrap the yarn around your left hand. Wrap the yarn around your little finger, then bring it to your index finger. Leave a part of yarn tail. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and your middle finger. Tie a knot in the yarn. Put a yarn hard. Now work five chains. Yarn around the hook. Put a yarn through the loop on the hook. A chain is done. There is a V. The V shape is a stitch. The second chain, yarn around the hook. Put a yarn through the loop on the hook. The second chain is done. The third chain. The fourth chain. The fifth chain. Five chains are done. There are five V shapes. Now start from second chain from hook. We'll crochet in the back loops. This is first chain from hook. Skip it. This is second chain from hook. Insert a hook into this chain. We need to work three single crochets. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook and put a yarn to both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Insert a hook into the next chain. Work a single crochet. The second single crochet is done. The third is in crochet. Insert a hook into the next chain. The third single crochet is done. There's one chain left. We need to work three single crochets in this loop. First single crochet is done. Is it a hook into the same loop? Work a second single crochet. The second single crochet is done. Then is it a hook into the same loop? Work the third single crochet. Three single crochets are done. Turn the fabric around. We will crochet the other half loops of the chains. Now work two single crochets. We have already crocheted in this hole. Is it a hook into the next loop here? Work a single crochet. Now insert a hook into the next loop. Work a single crochet. Hide the yarn tail by putting on top of the hook. Two single crochets are done. Now work an increase in the next loop. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. We need to work two single crochets in the next loop. The first single crochet is done. Is it a hook in the same loop? And work another single crochet. An increase is done. 
now work a slip stitch to join the round. Remove the marker. And then hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Hook the first loop and pull it through the second loop. A slip stitch is done. Round one is finished. Now let's start making round two. We need to work ten single shades. We will crochet in the back loops of every stitch. This is a whole stitch. In round two, we only crochet in the back loops. This is the back loop. And this. First, work a chain. The chain doesn't count as stitch. Then insert a hook into back loop of the first stitch. That is the marked stitch. Work a single shade. A single shade is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Insert a hook into back loop of the next stitch. Work the second single shade, the third single shade, the fourth single shade, the five single shade. The sixth single shade, the seventh single shade, the eighth single shade, the ninth single shade, the tenth single shade. Ten single crochets are done. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. Remove the marker. Insert a hook in the first stitch, the whole stitch. A slip stitch is done. Round two is finished. Now let's start making round three. We need to work five decreases. A decrease means to combine two stitches into one stitch. First, work a chain. We need to insert a hook into front loops of two adjacent stitches separately. This is back loop of the first stitch. This is the front loop of the second stitch. There are three loops on the hook. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. A decrease is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Now work second decrease. Instead of hugging the front loops of two adjacent stitches separately, this is front loop of first stitch. This is front loop of second stitch. There are three loops on the hook. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. The second decrease is done. The third decrease. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. The third decrease is done. The fourth decrease. Insert a hook into front loops of two adjacent stitches separately. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. The four decrease is done. The five decrease. 
instead of hogging to the front loops of two adjacent stitches separately. Five decreases are done. Work a slip stitch joined around. Remove the marker. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. A slip stitch is done. Round 3 is finished. Now let's start making round 4. We need to work 5 single shades. Insert a hook in the first stitch. Be careful not to make mistakes. A single shade is done. Insert a hook into the next stitch. The second single shade is done. The third single shade. The four single shade. The five single shade. Five single shades are done. Instead of hogging the first stitch and work a slip stitch. A slip stitch is done. Round 4 is finished. Pull the loop slightly larger. Leave a long yard tail. Cut off the yard. Put out the yard tail. Take out a piece of cotton. Stuff the filling cotton into the fabric. This hole is rather small. Use some things to stuff for the cotton. A foot is done. Continue to work the other foot in the same way.